Yo, what's up, dude? How's it going? So I thought today we would come on here and take a look at a new piece of software. As you know, I, I do a lot of the software stuff. And the people from Positive Grid reached out to me and they were like, Hey, we know you like the software. Maybe um, you'd like to check out Bias Effects too. And they were uh, nice enough to provide a copy for me. So I installed it. And uh, you're, you're hearing it right now. sounds great uh, one of the things I did notice though is that although it is capable of making like some really sick stereo rigs there wasn't a lot of preset ones in the patches so I said you know what um, this software has been out for about a year it's been reviewed to death it's been done to death here it is for blues here it is for metal here you know all these different things so I said well what could I do that would be a little bit different than what's out there and I said let's do stereo rigs all right we'll do a full-on stereo rig and a real stereo rig not some pseudo stereo rig so all right let me switch to um, another window here and we can take a look at the software so there we have it we have the bias effects to software you have your tone cloud there's the the bank that we're in right I can click that it'll bring up the bank right it's the patch we're using it's telling me it's been uh, modified it's been edited already I can move back and forth between the patches I can save the patch if I want um, I can uh, go to the, the their online store I think there's a whole bunch of stuff and right then I can do um, uh, I think that's uh, the, 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 the link um, your, your beats per minute on like a delay or something to some other host or something like that uh, pedal board mode uh, I believe that's a tuner and uh, a looper right the old infinity sign and then here's the one I really wanted to talk about this little cog right here this is settings I'm gonna click that I'm gonna go to audio settings and in here I just want to make sure that you have this set up correctly to make a stereo rig to do it correctly you want to have Again, if you're running Windows, you definitely want to be running ASIO, anything else, and you're not going to get your best performance. Uh, I'm using my Focusrite, obviously. Uh, I want my output to be stereo, right? That's key. Don't want it to be mono. Uh, not for stereo rig, obviously. I want my output channels to be one and two. It's going to show all my groupings of output channels. I'm going out of one and two. I can test it. Clearly, it works. My input device, I also want the focus right unplugged into channel one. But here's the thing, the guitar is a mono instrument, so I don't want to set this to stereo because I'm going to be lacking one of my channels. It's going to be looking for audio on one of the channels, and it's going to keep the whole chain discreet. It's not going to work. The guitar is a mono instrument, right? So I've got to leave this as mono. I have my input channel as input one, set it to whatever it's set for, and my input check... Right? See that little meter pop up right there? This one right here? It's letting me know that I'm getting sound. There's my sample rate and everything else. Uh, this is deeper than we're going to get into in this video, but basically you should have those set to where you, you need them to be set. And uh, there you have it. So you just make sure that what you the key takeaway from that right there is that your input is mono and your output is stereo. Now, at the top here, you're seeing the signal path. And if you'll notice, it's quite mono in that it's only one line. That's because we're setting that up for the, the routing is set to single and not dual. All right. So, so how we fix that is we, we click dual. And it adds four items. It adds a new um, uh, amp, an exact clone of that one. It adds a new cab, the exact clone of that one. It adds a splitter in the front and a combiner at the end, right? A mixer. Now, if you'll notice, you're getting a, sing a single signal path. Say that three times fast. Say, say, single signal path coming in, and then it splits. It goes into two paths, and then if you notice back here, it combines back to one. 
So if I play it, it doesn't sound any different than single. Single, dual. Right. So what I can do is uh, change one of these. So rather than just have it say the 69 Plexi V2, maybe I'm gonna say replace, and that's my current one. Let's go with the, the, the 68 Crunch, all right? Now it's changed it. See how it did that? Definitely sounds a little different. Um, let's do one more thing just for the sake of demonstration. Uh, I'm going to go back and I'm going to replace this back with the original Plexi, right? Again, we don't. When we go back to our single, pretty much sounds the same. There's really not a, a, a big difference, really any difference between the two. Um, when I change this, we hear a little difference in the tone, right? Definitely changed, but it's all combined. It's almost like I'm running the amps in series and in parallel. Here's how you fix that. You go to this last little thing here, the mixer, and it, I remember I said, you notice how that these two signal pa uh, paths combine back into one? We want them to spread out to two. So we take the left and we pan it left. You see that? It brought that signal up out of the center and up to the top. And we're going to take the right and pan it down to the right. And you see what it did there? It brought that signal path down to the right. Ah! You hear that? Oh, it's stereo. Hear that? And there you go. And, and all of a sudden, you have a stereo path. Sounds great, you know. Right? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Again, just for the sake of demonstration, we'll bring that back to... Um, dead zero and we can bring that back to dead zero it, it I mean it's different but it's not the same now you may want that in a certain situation but it doesn't sound stereo even though you have a dual path you spread this out to the left you spread this out to the right I hope you're listening to this with uh, headphones or you know, stereo speakers and not through a, a mono phone. You're, it's not going to sound the same, um, you know, um, through a single speaker is what we're hearing uh, with the nice stereo separation. All right. So now that we have a stereo set of amps here, um, let's mess around with some of the effects. So I'm going to say add. And I'm going to go to modulation, and we're going to find ourselves a nice modulation effect, say like this this uh, chorus, all right? I'll take the chorus, and I'm going to put it before the splitter, all right? Clearly, the chorus is there, and if I go to the chorus and I turn it off, right, big difference. But if you notice, it's sort of coming right. Even though we have a stereo path, it's this weird thing where it's like mono into stereo. Right? So where you place it on the path is going to make a huge difference. All I have to do is move it after the splitter. Right? And, and instant Van Halen, right? And the other thing you could do, and it would sound a little different, is you could move it after the speakers, but before, right, you could move it down here, right? Right? 
right? And, and where you place it on the path is gonna give it. I kind of like it right here. I like it uh, right in front of it. Again, it's just put it wherever you, you like the, the sound of it. So, um, and again, this will work with a bunch of different effects. And this is a good way to sort of figure out which effects are stereo and which are mono. Because if I take, I want to say like, um, it might be the... No, that does sound stereo, doesn't it? Am I hearing a little panning going on there? Let's try another one. Some are clearly stereo and uh, some are clearly um, not. Let's see. Uh, like, how's that? How's that? Um, oh, I, I hit replace. Hold on. Replace. Uh, oh, let's try this phaser pan. <laughs> That sounded stereo to me versus moving it here. Although I might be noticing the effect a little bit more there. Again, it, it, just experimentation, you know. Right, you can hear that. The effect was more pronounced when it was in the mono, when it was back here. So again, it's just a matter of experimenting with it. Um, let me replace this. And let's come up with, uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know, with a vintage rotary, maybe? All right, so... You hear it go stereo? Versus moving it here. Oop. You can literally hear the stereo kick in. All right, last thing I want to show you is how to take, um, I'm gonna delete that. Okay. Is how to take a mono effect and make it stereo. So one of the things I have is I have this delay here, which is cool, but what I really want is I really want a stereo delay. So I'm gonna bring this delay, I'm gonna see if I can bring this right there. You see that? And then I'm gonna click add, I'm gonna click uh, can I make a copy of this? No. Okay. Just thought I might be able to quickly just make a copy of it, but it, it does, I don't see a copy function. All right. Um, I'm going to go to add and I'm going to say delay and I'm going to bring in the same delay, but in the other path. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll set the time to say... We'll bring that feedback down, we'll bring that level down. Let's check the other side, right? So you see where the tone, the feedback, so where's my, the time is set to 6.08. And I'll set the time here to say like, let's go to 6.08, all right? And what you'll notice, is that you don't really you don't really hear a difference, right? There's no stereo to it because I have them at the same, roughly the same 
little bit different level. Uh, let me bring this level uh, down here. And just make sure that you, yeah. Right? It kind of sounds mono, right? You, you're kind of hearing a mono signal. So what I'm gonna do is change the delay time on one. I'm gonna back it off of here. Right, now you start to hear a separation a little more. Right? Let me, I'm going to bring those levels up a hair just so you hear the effect a little bit more. Right? And I'm setting that, that time up a little different. I'll... So if I turn one of them off, you should hear the delay only out of one ear, right? And if I turn this one off, it should be only out of the right ear, right? But it's when you combine them, right, that you get that stereo effect. Right? See that? They're in they're at separate timings. Yeah, there you go. All right, dudes, well there you have it. Uh just wanted to uh, go over a little bit of this. And again, you can go as crazy as you want. Um uh, I was experimenting with like a flanger in one and a you know a um uh, you know a phaser in the other. And again, the phasers will sound different depending on where you put them. Let me just go ahead and add a phaser somewhere here. There's probably a phaser in here uh, somewhere. Not the dual one. I'm pretty sure that's a mono. They got to have the orange phaser. I think it's mono back here. <laughs> Here, just go stereo. All right, dudes, there you have it. Um, I will leave applicable links down in the description. As always, thanks so much for hanging out and rock on.